earned revenue represents cash received for revenue that is not yet earned. This typically arises when a customer pays for goods or services in advance of receiving them. Under accrual accounting, unearned revenue is a liability until the revenue is earned. This is because the business owes the customer goods or services since the customer has paid for them but it has not yet received them. A typical example of unearned revenue is rent or subscriptions paid in advance. If unearned revenue is not reported as a liability on the balance sheet and instead it is claimed immediately as revenue, the matching principle of GAAP would be violated. Therefore, when a payment is received for a service not yet provided, a deferral entry is needed. Once the products are delivered or the service is rendered, the deferred or unearned revenue then becomes earned revenue. For example, Global Air receives $5,000 cash in ticket sales on July 1st. Half of the flights occur in July and the balance will occur in August. Global Air has an obligation, a liability, to provide services at a future date. Since the services, the flights, will take place partly in July and partly in August, only half of this amount is July revenue. The remaining balance is unearned revenue until the August flights take place. The adjusting entry affects both an income statement account and a balance sheet account. As the name suggests, prepaid expenses are exactly that. Services or goods paid in advance before the service is rendered or the good delivered. Because the expense is prepaid, it is deferred, and an adjusting entry needs to be made. A prepaid expense often happens in the case of purchasing insurance coverage. Imagine further that on July 1st, Global Air pays $6,000 as a prepaid expense for insurance coverage for the six-month period from July through December. At the end of July, the adjusting entry for the prepaid expense will be for one month's insurance. Therefore, one month of insurance, or $1,000, will be a recognized expense in July, while five months of insurance, or $5,000, will remain a prepaid expense which is treated as a current asset on the balance sheet. An adjusting entry will be needed later on in future months to recognize a portion of the insurance expense, gradually reducing the prepaid asset amount until it reaches zero.